What do Kyrie, LeBron, and Embiid all have in common? When they put the mask on, their opponents fell victim to the curse. It's said that the NBA mask curses the opposing team, leaving them useless. And look, I've never been a guy that believes in curses, but there's a lot more truth to this than you'd think. I found out the NBA has been trying to ban players from using this curse, and that's just where the strangeness begins. Let me take you back nearly two decades ago, where the curse of the NBA mask all started with Richard Hamilton. Back when he was playing with the Pistons, he broke his nose multiple times and needed surgery. So Hamilton was forced to wear a mask to protect himself. No big deal, right? Well, when Hamilton put that mask on, there was a change in the air. He felt something rush through his veins. Most people would be distracted wearing it, but Hamilton said it gave him superpowers. With the mask on, Hamilton went on to lead the Pistons in scoring, averaging nearly 20 points a game. He set records, achieved new career highs, and in the playoffs, Hamilton single-handedly dominated the Bucks, Nets, Pacers, Lakers, while averaging nearly 23 points per game. He shot almost 50% from three throughout the postseason. What was going on? He was literally the best version of himself the world had ever seen. He helped lead Detroit to a championship. He did all this while wearing the mask. Hamilton knew something was up. What started off as a medical recommendation turned into a ritual, and he decided to wear the mask for the rest of his career. Funny enough, he never slowed down. He averaged identical numbers during the next seven seasons, and his entire career became known from him looking like a superhero on the court. With the mask on, teams couldn't stop Hamilton. But this seemed like just a coincidence. You know, maybe Hamilton just hit his stride at the right time. That's what teams were thinking until a few years later. December 14th, 2012, a young Kyrie Irving went up against the Milwaukee Bucks. And in the first quarter of the game, this happened. Let's pick this one up with Kyrie going to work. Penetrating, getting fouled hard, goes to the ground, but he is jersey strong. Staying in the game, Kyrie would take the free throws and not miss a beat. Yeah, I know, that, uh, that looked pretty bad. Kyrie ended up breaking a bone in his jaw with that fall, but it was this injury that led to one of the greatest games of Kyrie Irving's entire career, the Phantom of the Garden. Set to go up against the New York Knicks the day after this injury, Kyrie was forced to wear a mask, and the second he slid it down his face, it happened. A wave of energy rippled throughout the entire arena, a stadium filled with goosebumps as Kyrie Irving transformed into a supervillain. He sauced up every guard the Knicks threw at him and scored 41 points in 39 minutes, 15 for 25 shooting, 5 of 8 from 3, 5 assists, 5 rebounds. This performance was so legendary that NBA themselves gave it the nickname the Phantom of the Garden. And at that time, Kyrie was only in his second NBA season, so it was obvious something special happened that night. And in the 19 games after this, he continued to wear a mask. And Kyrie averaged 24.5 points per game, the best numbers of his career up to this point. The mask curse was in full effect, and no matter what teams threw at Kyrie, no one could stop him. It should have been obvious to everyone in the NBA at this point that something was up, but if they didn't realize it here, they definitely would a couple of years later, when something weird happened in Oklahoma City. During a game in 2014, LeBron went up for a dunk, but was hit in the face and broke his nose. Instantly, he knew what this meant. It was his turn to wear the mask. LeBron saw what it did to Richard Hamilton, and he saw what it did to Kyrie, so when LeBron broke his nose, he wasn't even mad. He was actually excited for the injury. LeBron even had a plan to take the mask and the curse that it carries to another level. Before playing his next game, LeBron came out and said, I've been talking to Marvel Comics for the last couple of days, and DC Comics, trying to come up with one of the greatest masks of all time. And when he returned to the court against the Knicks, he debuted something legendary. The Heat came out in their all black uniforms, and out came LeBron James with a matching black carbon fiber mask. And you could tell he was on a mission to become a super villain that night.
LeBron came out and torched every Knicks defender. He barely missed a shot, shooting 13 from 19 from the floor, and that included the dunk where he looked like the Dark Knight as he drove in, slammed, and yelled to the crowd. LeBron knew this performance was gonna happen. It was the mask, but the NBA knew it was gonna happen too. Executives sat and watched as LeBron put on a legendary performance, completely deflating anyone who came at him. And they realized this carbon fiber black mask is too powerful. So they got involved. Publicly, the NBA stated that no player was allowed to make uniform alterations that the league couldn't profit from. And they banned LeBron from ever wearing a black mask again. But this didn't make sense. LeBron talked about it and said, I don't know if I expected it. It's not a league rule. For the reasons that they told me, it didn't make sense to me, but hey, I'm just a player in this league and I'll abide by this request. So LeBron switched to a clear mask for his next game and he sent a message to the NBA that even they couldn't stop the curse. Big time, big time, Damage in my teeth, I got a lot of shine. Running up the numbers, that's a lot of grind. He had the best game of his career, dropping 61 points and hitting eight three-pointers, something he never does. It was clear to everyone in the NBA at this point, if someone comes out wearing a mask, there's no stopping them. So NBA teams started preparing, and in 2018, the Miami Heat came out ready to end this curse for good when they faced off against a masked up Joel Embiid. In 2018, Joel Embiid suffered an injury that sidelined him for weeks. During this time, Embiid had professionals create a mask only fit for him. According to 76ers employees, Embiid went through over 20 versions to get to the right one. He had to be prepared for anything, and Embiid's mask turned out to be an all-black carbon fiber version just like LeBron's, but Embiid's included goggles. Isn't it weird how the NBA banned LeBron's mask but let Joel wear the same one? It's almost like they realized there's nothing they can do to stop this curse and just gave up. But the Miami Heat, they came at Joel Embiid with a whole new strategy. Returning from his injury during the NBA playoffs, Embiid came out for warmups, and the arena was instantly electrifying. The people knew what time it was. But like I said, the Heat planned for this moment. They put all their focus on Joel Embiid and the mask. And starting off that game, things weren't working out for Joel. His emotions were at an all-time high because all eyes were on him. He got mad and slammed the mask to the ground a few times, feeling like it wasn't giving him the powers like it did for everyone else. But then, the Miami Heat made a huge mistake when they tried to take the mask out itself. During the second quarter, Justice Winslow saw Embiid's mask on the ground, and he realized it was the perfect opportunity to end this curse once and for all. So he stepped on it, picked it up, and tried to break it with his bare hands. And just like that, the mask unleashed its powers. Embiid put the mask back on and took over the game on both ends of the floor. Dominating down low, hitting jump shots, blocking shots, no one could stop this man. What happened in the second half was magical. It proved that when you put your faith in the mask, great things can happen. And at this point, players realized they couldn't stop the curse from happening. And in 2020, it came back more viral than ever. Kawhi Leonard was coming back from a bloody injury caused by his teammate elbowing him in the face. And Kawhi missed two games while he got stitches and began recovery. But of course, the man wanted to play, and the medical team around him came to one final verdict. He had to wear a mask. And Kawhi knew this, but he also knew what could come from it, so he was ready. That night, the Clippers were going up against the Blazers, and as soon as Kawhi stepped on the court, social media made the world know all about it. Endless memes. Everyone was wondering what was on Kawhi's face. Kawhi even admitted his own teammates were clowning, calling him Leatherface. But we all know the type of robot Kawhi could be. He was determined as ever to get a win out there, especially with all eyes on him. And you think Kawhi might have been rusty, being out for days, being pretty much knocked out by his own teammate, but the mask came to play. Driving to the rim, mid-range shots, everything Kawhi took went in. 28 points, seven assists, three rebounds, and three steals were enough to lead LA past Portland, 128 to 105. And once again, the mask took over. This has just happened way too much. There's no way it's a coincidence. Maybe it's the players knowing there's extra spotlight on them. Maybe it's the defense crumbling under the mask pressure. Or maybe the mask really does have some type of special abilities. Who knows? But one thing's for sure. If someone's wearing a mask on my court, I'm good on playing in that game. But hey, man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on this one right here on the screen, man. It's a fantastic video right here. Literally the greatest video of all time. You're never going to see a, a better video. 
So what are you doing, dog? Just click on it, all right? It's that easy. Just click on it. Ha 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 click.